I do not want to make another how-to video. This video is just to raise awareness that Sony is capping your data speeds. But after doing the research and doing some tinkering, I think I'm making another how-to video. So I was playing the Black Ops 3 beta on day one and it had some terrible lag. It was unplayable for a while. I checked my speeds to make sure it wasn't just me and I found this. Right is my computer, left is the PS4. Both of them sitting right next to each other, right here, and plugged into the same router, hardwired. I've noticed that my PS4 speeds have always been suspiciously low, but it's never really affected the gameplay. In the case of the Black Ops 3 beta, it was Activision's servers that were acting up. They fixed it in about an hour and I was up and running and everything was just fine. For online gaming, you only really need about 10 megabits down and like maybe two up. But I get great speeds for my ISP, so what gives? I want to use my PS4 to its full potential. As it turns out, Sony put a software bandwidth cap on all of its PS4s. There isn't much literature on this, but pretty much everybody online is reporting speeds less than 50 megabits per second. And upload speeds are just horrendous. This explains why uploading that clip to your Facebook took years off your life. The best I could find, which I'll link to in the description, is this long forum post about the data cap made by some network engineers just doing some anecdotal testing. To be fair, data over 10 megabits per second isn't really noticeable when gaming. It's only really noticeable when joining a game or starting a new match in Call of Duty. Destiny seems to wait for everybody to be ready before the match even starts. It is necessary when downloading files or streaming videos, stuff like that. Sony claims that it issued this software cap to ensure stability. It sounds like one of those things where like people with terrible connections are ruining it for us people with great connections. If you absolutely cannot have your PS4 hardwired, you're out of luck. The wireless chip in the PS4 does not have a five gigahertz frequency. It's stuck at the old 2.4 gigahertz band. Five gigahertz, specifically, 802.11 AC is essential for getting these high speeds. For comparison, Xbox One has a five gigahertz A band, and look at these speeds, blazing fast. Well, for Wi-Fi anyway. So you probably wanna know what you could do about this. Well, if you want speeds over 50 megabits per second, go yell at Sony. If you want the most out of your PS4, here's the best you can do. You wanna go over to your settings. Network, set up internet connection. We're gonna do LAN cable because hardwiring will give you the best results. We'll go to custom because easy's for pussies. <laughs> then manual. Nine times out of 10, your private IP address will start with 192.168.1. And I already set up my router to have a static IP address associated with my PS4. That's a whole nother rigmarole. So I suggest doing an IP address that's high. Just pick a random number in the hundreds for the last number. I'm going to do 16 because that's what I set my router to. If you haven't set your router, do like 116. Subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. And default gateway should be 192.168. Dot dot one dot one. Another popular default gateway is 10.0.0.1. If that's yours, just make sure you change the IP address to something like 10.0.0.116. You get the idea. Anyway, here's the important bit. Primary DNS we're going to change to Google's open source DNS. That's 8.8.8.8. And secondary DNS is 8.8.4.4. Once again, Google doing things better than every other company. Now click next and you'll see MTU settings. This stumped me for a little bit because I didn't know what the hell this is. If you don't know what type of router you have, click automatic. If you do know, Google the name of the router plus MTU. Most routers support an MTU of 1500. If you're experiencing problems, you may want to pull that down to 1473. And finally, do not use proxy server. After all that, these are the speeds that I was left with. 
So there you have it. That is how you get the most out of your PS4 with Sony's data cap. Now everybody go over to Twitter and make a big stink at Sony about the data cap so that maybe they'll fix it in a future update. In June, Sony stated that they were aware of the slow speeds. This was during the whole Drive Club fiasco. So happy they did so much to fix that. What do you guys think about this software data cap? Does it affect you? Do you want your speeds to be faster? Are you outraged over it? And if you have internet problems, did this fix help you? If it didn't and you have different problems, leave it in the comments below because in my last how-to video about the PS4 disc eject issue, there was a good community of people going on in the comments helping each other out. Also, you can add me on Twitter and all of this other social media garbage. We stream every single Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. This week I might do Wednesday, I might. But if I do Wednesday, I'm gonna delete the past broadcast so it will be exclusive to subscribers. So make sure you subscribe in case I do that. Also follow me on Twitter, see if I'm gonna do it. Other than that, we have new videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And finally, of course, the most important things that you can do is subscribe and share this video with a friend. Thank you guys very much. Have a good week. This realization came with the release of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. I thought, wow, this game looks great. I'll never get around to playing it. I thought the same thing about Telltale's The Walking Dead, but that I got as far as installing on my phone. So give me some credit for that. They made a documentary about that movie called Doomed. Get With Doom it? in it? Yeah. Cool. So cool I want that crew to now make a documentary about what the hell happened to this, because apparently a lot happens yes. behind the scenes. It keeps changing every day depending on who you ask. Didn't they get a new director at the end?